This year is starting off big in video games. January and February alone hold some of the most anticipated titles to be released of the whole year. Titles like Kingdom Hearts 3, Anthem, Metro Exodus and Left Alive, and perhaps one of the more cult classics of the bunch, the remake of Resident Evil 2. The 30 minute one shot demo dropped on January 11th and it got fans of the series including myself craving the full game. After completing the demo you get an exclusive further look into the full game including a little teaser at the end featuring a couple of peculiar characters. One of them being Hunk, a member of the Umbrella Security Service Unit and the other is Tofu. Hunk is mysterious enough, you don't know his real name, you just know that he's a badass, but Tofu? What or who is Tofu? Tofu is a character that appeared in the original Resident Evil 2 in a post-game scenario that was called the Tofu Survivor. To understand Tofu, we'll have to also understand Hunk. Hunk was also featured in the original game in his own scenario called the Fourth Survivor, which was a type of minigame but was also canon to the plot in Resident Evil. Hunk was the last survivor of his unit after being attacked by a mutated Birkin. He possesses the G-Virus sample and has to escape Raccoon City before it's destroyed by making his way to an escape helicopter. You're equipped with certain items and must rely on only these items because there aren't any more to pick up. You get a couple of weapons and a few mixed herbs and you make your way through. You aren't even given enough supplies to kill all the creatures in your path, so avoiding what you can is the best option. You unlock Hunk's minigame after beating the main game in both scenarios, and the title of it, The Force Survivor, is a play on Hunk being a sort of grim reaper, as he's always the sole survivor of his unit, and he's also the fourth surviving person out of Raccoon City, after Leon, Claire, and Sherry. The number four also is pronounced the same as death in the Japanese language. So now, who is Tofu? Tofu is a straight up parody to Hunk. Tofu is in another mini game titled The Tofu Survivor that you unlocked after beating the game three times with an A ranking as well as beating the fourth survivor scenario. The white blocky mass known as Tofu was initially created by Capcom to test the game's collision detection. Someone at Capcom thought it would be fun to throw this model in the actual game probably because it resembled a giant block of bean curd and history was made. The Tofu Survivor was more difficult than the fourth survivor because unlike Hunk, Tofu only had a knife and some herbs to make his way through to the chopper. Granted, Tofu must be an extra firm because he can take a few more hits than Hunk can. Every time Tofu gets bit or slapped around, he turns a little more red until becoming crimson upon his death. Tofu also curses in Japanese when he's hit or attacked and when he dies, he mutters farewell in Japanese. Even after beating the Tofu Survivor no matter how well you did, it seems that Hunk keeps true to his Grim Reaper status and just eats Tofu in the escape helicopter anyway, chopping some chunks out of his forehead and throwing them into a hot pot. From what little we know about the remake, Tofu is slightly different 20 years later. He looks like legitimate Tofu now, like a very photorealistic rendition of coagulated soy milk. He also lost his hands from the original, he no longer has white gloves hovering around his body, instead the weapons just kind of float next to him telepathically. One final change noted in the new trailer is that Tofu seems to take physical damage now. Instead of just turning deeper shades of red, he has chunks taken out of him, which is really cool looking. There's some other speculation on Tofu's involvement in the new game, there's suspicion that he would be able to wield more than just a knife since there's a picture of him with various weapons on the ground beside him, but this is merely just speculation. There's also talk from datamine info that there might be different skins for Tofu in the game. Alleged skins would be takes on different Japanese desserts like Oreo, Anin, and Konjak. I know I probably butchered that pronunciation. But that's really it. This fan favorite character from the Resident Evil franchise is all from the parody in the second game that was probably just a cheeky laugh from the Capcom devs. Tofu has been involved in some other games, most notably Resident Evil The Dark Side Chronicles, in a secret mode where the zombies are replaced by Tofu, and you get to shoot chunks out of the bean curd as this tasty horde comes and tries to swarm you. Tofu appears briefly in Dead Rising 3 as an easter egg. He can also be played in Resident Evil 3 Nemesis by hacking the game's files as some of the Tofu files are ported into the game's folders. There's also rumors that Tofu was supposed to be in Marvel vs Capcom 3 but sadly he did not make the cut. I gotta say, I'm beyond excited for this remake of Resident Evil 2, but Tofu was never really something that I thought was that fun in the original. I know that some people might hate me for saying that, but it just came off as way too gimmicky and also it was just really freaking hard to play as him. 
I do appreciate that Capcom keeps their game serious for the first playthrough at least, and after that there's no rules for easter eggs and gimmicks, and I'm excited to see what they do for Tofu in the remake. I'm betting on his involvement being more than just a minigame run through since there's talks of weapon wielding and various skins, but we'll just have to wait and see. Let me know what you think in the comments. Are you a fan of Tofu and or Hunk? Are you excited to have them back in this modern remake of the game? I'd love to hear your opinion. Throw me a like and a sub if you enjoyed this video, friend. It means a lot. So, I do hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching. Peace.